I just don't like her. I don't like her. Why you don't like her? You personally? Why? Because she like got her? my mother. That's why. That's why I don't like her. My son, she. You heard about how Diddy mom came out defending him? She made a comment saying that Diddy is not a monster. Yeah, he not a monster. She is. But I don't want to go down. But she is. She's the. Today, my mother turns 80 years old. Yo. Now that's. That's my hero. Right? It seems like things are falling apart for Diddy with his son, King Combs, and his mother, Janice Combs, fighting over his fortune. For many, it's quite surprising to see them focus on his assets rather than his bail. Almost as if they've already decided that Diddy won't be leaving jail anytime soon. We've been able to speak to your son. What did you say to him when you visited him in court? Things seem nearly perfect and harmonious while Diddy was out of jail, steering clear of the bars. I just wanna tell you I love you for that, for love being my son, and I'm the most proud his dad in the world. Keep being that beautiful person that you are. You're a special one, baby. However, the moment his bail was denied, the situation appeared to spiral out of Diddy's control, with his family allegedly crumbling and fighting amongst themselves over his fortune. Sean Diddy Combs has built a reputation as one of hip hop's biggest success stories. He's the mastermind behind Bad Boy Records, Combs Wines and Spirits, the Sean John fashion brand, and the multi-platform network Revolt TV and Media, among other ventures. But sadly for Diddy, his multi-million dollar empire isn't doing much for him now that he's behind bars following his arrest in September, 2024. Diddy has been backed by his family, including his mom, partner, and kids, even as allegations and countless lawsuits pile up against him. But now, word is that his mother, Janice Combs, and his son, Christian King Combs, are reportedly clashing over his $400 million fortune. Meanwhile, Diddy is sitting in Brooklyn's Metropolitan Detention Center, waiting for his trial set for May 5th next year. A source told In Touch Weekly that Diddy's mother, Janice Combs, and his son, Christian King Combs, want control of his fortune. Janice thinks she's the best person to step in, the source alleged, but Diddy's son is just as determined to take the reins. It's become a full-on showdown, and tensions are skyrocketing. The insider added that the situation with Diddy's money is like a real-life godfather situation. Diddy's mother raised him in Mount Vernon, New York. His father, Melvin Earl Combs, died by a gunshot at age 33 in 1972. Janice claimed her son was innocent in a statement on October 6, 2024. I come to you today as a mother that is devastated and profoundly saddened by the allegations made against my son, Sean Combs, Janice said in a statement obtained by Us Weekly. It is heartbreaking to see my son judge not for the truth, but for a narrative created out of lies. To bear witness to what seems to be like a public lynching of my son before he has had the opportunity to prove his innocence is a pain too unbearable to put into words. Sean Diddy Combs kids and mom might be eyeing control of his finances while he's locked up, but there's a catch. He's facing some serious legal bills. To cover costs, the hip-hop icon put his $61.5 million Beverly Hills mansion on the market in September 2024. He originally snagged the property back in 2014 for $40 million. Defending him against these serious charges is a huge undertaking, and it's gotten very expensive, a source told in Touch Weekly. He will hate to part with it, but he has no other choice. Diddy is also reportedly looking to sell his Gulfstream 550 jet, which comes with a hefty $60 million price tag and $3.5 million in annual maintenance costs. According to the New York Post, Mark Garagos, Diddy's former attorney, mentioned that the hip hop mogul should brace himself for seven figure legal expenses. Generally, cases like this are handled on an hourly basis and Diddy has always availed himself of a top shelf legal team, which can cost up to $1,750 an hour, he explained. However, with all Diddy's family drama in front of the public eyes, many people even brought up the subject of Diddy's son, Christian Combs being affiliated with gangs. 
Just imagine that your dad is one of the most talked about and controversial figures around, yet instead of staying low key, you're out here trying to prove you're part of a gang and showing off street cred you don't actually have. That's exactly what people are accusing King Combs of doing, and let's just say it's not going well for him. Apparently, Christian dropped a diss track aimed at none other than 50 Cent, throwing out threats to anyone disrespecting his family. In the track, he even claimed ties to Chicago's South Side, talking tough as if he had real street connections. But here's the kicker. No one's buying it. Most people are calling it out as a pretty dumb move, Dot. Not only did he deliver some wild lines in that song, but he also managed to drag his dad into the drama, raising plenty of eyebrows in the process. Critics are calling the diss track sloppy and reckless, saying it might've just landed both Christian and his dad in hotter water. And that's not even the end of it. Christian's attempts at street cred didn't stop with the song. Things got messier when a video started making rounds online. In it, King Combs is seen shouting out GDK, gangster disciple killer, and flashing gang signs tied to the rakes, a term linked to Chicago's gangster disciples, one of the city's most infamous gangs. The video went viral, leaving people scratching their heads. Thank you, baby. GDK. I don't know why that's such a popular trend for people to say that thing. Why would Diddy's son, someone born into fame and fortune, suddenly claim ties to a gang with such serious baggage? One of the first to call him out was King Yella, an actual member of the Gangster Disciples. In a video response, Yella expressed his confusion and concern over Christian Sutton GDK shout out. He said, so I look on the internet and I see Puff Daddy's son come out saying GDK. Even Yella couldn't wrap his head around it, especially considering the legal drama surrounding Diddy right now. I look on the internet and I see Puff Daddy's son come out with GDK. It's a good time while your daddy fighting all these allegations and crazy stuff he got going on with him right now. Yella didn't hold back asking, why would you even try to involve yourself in anything GDK right now? He pointed out how terrible the timing was, especially with everything Diddy is already dealing with. Why would you even try to involve yourself into a GDK movement or anything? I mean, you was born famous and rich and famous. Like, what are you doing? Yella even revealed that Christian had reached out to him for advice about making drill music. Surprised. Yella said, bro, why would you want to do drill music? You don't come from the streets or come from none of that. You were born famous, not from the streets. Come from a rich daddy that's fighting a bunch of S allegations and crazy stuff. And you want to come talking about GDK? His advice to Christian? Stick to what you know and don't try to live a life that isn't yours. Yella also warned Christian about messing with the GDs, saying, don't let them GDs get with you, dude goofy. It was a clear warning. Playing with street culture could have real dangerous consequences. The video of King Combs shouting GDK and throwing gang signs quickly became a hot topic online. Social media exploded with reactions, with many agreeing with King Yella's take. However, that's not all. Many people believe that no one could have imagined the mogul, once known for his lavish parties and prominent status in Hollywood, would face such consequences, especially at the hands of his own son and mother when times are already tough for him. There have also been rumors that Diddy's son, Christian King Combs, has been cooperating with the feds to release hotel footage of Diddy allegedly A. Cassie, supporting her claims against him and ensuring Diddy faces jail time. Can you imagine a family fighting over fortune while turning against their own? Safe to say, Diddy seems to be in serious trouble, especially with his family not appearing to support him during his toughest times. Now, it seems his family is on the brink of falling apart too. It seems it's not just a rumor, as Diddy's ex-bodyguard, Gene Deal, has also shared his thoughts on the matter. In an interview, Gene Deal was questioned if he feels like the feds might have released that hotel video because of something King Combs, Diddy's son, said. 
to which Gene Deal said that he's been in the law enforcement for 27 years and he's aware of how things work. He said that he's been to a place called Haida. It's not just any place, it's like a command center straight out of a spy movie. Picture this, officers from the state police, the feds, NYPD, the Department of Corrections, pretty much everyone you can think of, are crammed into a space no bigger than half a basketball court. And it's wall-to-wall -wall computers with officers glued to their screens, digging through the internet and gathering intel. According to Gene Deal, when something like King Combs comments pops up, it doesn't just get ignored. Whoever's working on the case definitely saw it. And what do they do? They take it straight to their boss. No detail is too small when it comes to a big case like this. Gene Deal further said, you don't poke a lion with a pork chop. Translation, don't provoke the feds when they're already circling. But you feel like the feds, they released that video over King Kong's comments. Oh man. And that's what that kid did, bro. Many people believe that since Christian had the power to act as he pleased, he used it to fulfill his desires, and that's exactly what he did. Critics argue that the family has been spiraling out of control ever since Diddy was jailed. With Janice and King clashing over Diddy's fortune, a lot of old rumors have resurfaced, one of the most shocking being that Diddy's second son, Justin Combs, is allegedly not his biological son. Now, fans are intrigued and questioning, does this mean Justin has no claim to Diddy's fortune? People are out here questioning whether Misa Hilton's son, Justin, is even Diddy's biological child. Yep, you read that right. The drama is real. And now, with all these lawsuits popping up, folks are wondering if Justin is the result of one of Diddy's wild freak-off sessions. Did Diddy really let Misa sleep with his former bodyguard, Anthony Wolf Jones, right in front of him? Here's what's being said. Rumors are swirling that Justin's real dad is Wolf, who worked as Diddy's bodyguard back in the day. Wolf was there during the infamous 1999 Manhattan nightclub incident, where Diddy and rapper Shine allegedly fired shots, and Wolf even got hit with charges for possession of a weapon. Then, a few years later, in 2003, Wolf was reportedly involved in a shooting outside a Buckhead Atlanta nightclub after an argument over a woman. Now, with all this mess surrounding Diddy, people can't help but wonder if Justin is actually Wolf's son, and if Diddy had anything to do with Wolf's While there's no concrete evidence linking Diddy to Wolf's death, the fact that Wolf was Diddy's best friend makes it seem like he might have raised Justin as his own. But then again, there are rumors suggesting Diddy could have been involved in setting Wolf up. Apparently, he owed Wolf a lot of money, and it gets juicier. Wolf wasn't just Diddy's bodyguard. He had his own investments and was financially tied up in a lot of things. The theory is that when Diddy couldn't pay him back, he set him up. If that's true, and Wolf really is Justin's dad, it would make a lot of sense why Justin and Misa have stayed tight with Cassie, still following her on Instagram despite everything that went down with Diddy. It's like they're silently supporting her, even though she's the one who kicked off the whole Diddy drama. It looks like Diddy's not just dealing with legal battles, but now he's in the middle of some serious family drama too. His kids and family have a lot of questions and it's clear he owes them some answers. But here's the bigger question. Will his mother and son continue to stand by him, especially now that it seems like Diddy's fortune has been drained? Or will they decide they don't need him anymore, seeing him just as a source of income? It's definitely going to be a rough ride for Diddy. Only time will tell what's really going on and who's truly loyal. One thing's for sure though, the truth is gonna be hard to untangle. That's it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching.